This little switch has been driving me crazy, and I really don't feel like putting it back. So, let's see if we can fix it. I purchased this ignition switch from Amazon. It's a three-way switch, which can power the ignition, as well as send power to any accessory. I plan to use it to power the lights on my golf cart. So the first step is getting the old one out. Right now I just have this rigged up with tape. The plastic retainer to hold the screws is stripped out. We'll figure that out later, but for now, tape is fine. I got this golf cart in pretty bad shape. The wiring for the lights was a bit too short. Someone had already tried to extend it halfway. Let's just get rid of this mess and extend them for now. It's probably a good idea to remove the negative battery cable first though. Here's the new switch, comes with its own key, here's the old one side by side. This is all you need for the install as well as a pair of wire strippers and a crimper. So there are four connectors here. Um, clockwise, they are B, L, B1, and I right there in the middle. On B, you'll put the ground for the switch. On L, you'll put the ground for the lights. On I, you'll put the power from the switch. And on B1, you'll put the power from the lights. also mention here that I didn't show before that green wire right there is the ground for the lights. Uh, the lights run off a 12 volt system so I have two 6 volt batteries here. Uh, this is a 36 volt golf cart and you'll see a black wire towards the bottom of the screen with a little red thing on it that is the fuse for the lights. And that's it. It works. So thanks for watching. 
uh, be sure to stay tuned for the next episode, which will be a 12 volt reducer for a couple accessories that I'm going to install, uh, state of charge meter, and a couple USB ports. And then uh, we'll just be doing some finishing touches to finish it out. Be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks.